Hey, all you cool cats at home. How you guys doing? Man, I hadn't seen and talked with anyone for quite some time. I have just been uh, living the life, if you will. <laughs> but that's a, it's a different story for later in the video. Right now, on our agenda, we're gonna go ahead and go walk this trail for the day. I tell you, friends, it is uh, really starting to feel like summer. The heat is getting stronger and stronger. Today, we started out a little bit late. I'm not entirely sure how far along this trail we're gonna get. I tried to wait till the sun was gonna go down in about an hour or two, cool off real quick, like, you know what I mean? I've been dealing with, uh, shoot, it should be mid 80s to high 80 temperature lately. So summer is finally upon us and I am not liking it. <laughs> but the trail we're walking today is going to be the Victorville Mahobe Riverwalk Trail. It's about 4.5 miles long. I'm still trying to prove to you guys I can talk the talk, but now let's go ahead and go walk the walk. <laughs> Ah, not even a minute into the video and I'm already sitting down. <laughs> now that we got somewhere nice and shady, uh, it's easier to talk with you, lovely folk. I just got off the phone with my mother and she was telling me a story because we were talking about pizza earlier. <laughs> she was telling me a story about she went to a Little Caesars and uh, there was a brand new employee there who just pulled out like a freshly baked pizza first time baking the pizza or something along those lines. He's so proud of himself, boxed it up and everything. <laughs> my mom, my mom tells me she gets home, opens up the box, and it's just one large pizza that's not been cut at all. <laughs> he was so proud of himself, but he forgot to cut the pizza. <laughs> I thought that was just such a funny story. Oh. Hey, though, you know, she got the pizza, had her pizza, no problems. <laughs> but that was just a silly little moment that got me giggling pretty good. <laughs> but from here, I've kind of wasted enough time. <laughs> Let's go ahead and hit the walk, the walk, you know, before we lose any more daylight. I remember back when I was a kid, we'd go to playgrounds and have fun, and there'd always, of course, you'd see the water fountains. Nowadays, it, you really can't drink from a water fountain. I'm kinda scared of what they even have in that water, you know what I mean? Here's a little history. So I'm gonna read this, the Mojave River little history tab uh, as a form of practice to try to get out my voice out there, you know? So, let's see. <clears throat> The Mojave flows 100 miles from the San Bernardino Mountains to its terminus at Soda Lake, near the town of Baker. The river flows below the surface for much of its length and only intermittently on the surface. When the underlying bedrock pushes water up or when a rare rainstorm, so, when a rare rainstorm sends a life-giving pulse down from the mountains, the Mojave appears seemingly out of nowhere. One of the rare stances, one of the rare stretches where the river flows above ground is known as the transition zone. Here, here, premier, premier surface flows nourishes a lush, 
perine, perineal, perinea. Here, perinea surface flow nourishes a lush, 15 mile long, uh, riparian corridor of cottonwood and of black willow trees, some of the only significant riparian habitat in the western Mojave Desert. Well folks, I tried. <laughs> I'll get better at reading later. <laughs> well, let's enjoy our walk finally. So as I was looking, I found this little walkway over the fence here. I'm not entirely sure. I'm assuming they didn't want you here, but at the same time, uh, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Just... So I can see mercs. I think bikers might come down this way. And that's where the sand came from so they can get back over the fence easily. Oh, I don't want to climb too much over the hill. So while we're walking, to keep you fine, fine folk in line with what's currently going on around me, I have stayed where I have been staying for about a month now. Incredible. <laughs> I've just been staying at a Planet Fitness parking lot, mentioned it in my last couple videos, but it's, no one's bothered me really. It's actually turning out to work really, really well. I was in Planet Fitness, obviously using the facility, their services, and I ended up talking with like the main manager. <laughs> we got to talking and he's telling me about the blue bus. And of course, you know, I had to let him know that it's me and the blue bus because we're talking and I didn't want nothing. I didn't want him to like call people and say, hey, this thing's been here too long. Get it out of here. The guy was super friggin' cool about it. <laughs> He told me, you're not taking up any desirable parking space. Park there, no problem. We don't, we're not bothered by it whatsoever. I was like, oh, you angel and human skin. <laughs> that sounds morbid, putting it that way. <laughs> but so far I've been staying there, using their facility and services. It's been very, very welcome and helpful for my situation at the moment. Uh, I did get that package as well. I told you in the last video that I needed to get a certain package that I was having my mom sent me. It was the new SD card, my, uh, my SIM card. It was a new SIM card that I had to have because my phone plan, they're forcefully upgrading everyone because they just wanted to get more money out of you, unfortunately, but what can you do? So I got that package and I truly was planning to leave. I was gonna go to another city, settle down, figure things out, but things didn't work out the way I had planned as we can obviously tell. But you know, that's, that's part of the journey. Welcome back. So let me ask you, my amazing friends, amigos, and family, 
What do you do in the summer to cool down if you don't have access to the traditional methods of keeping cool? My original idea and thought that I had was that I was thinking about getting a cooler and then just putting ice in said cooler, maybe two bags of ice and leaving the lid open so that the cool air will, will kind of spread throughout a small part of the bus. Some folks are walking by, I think taking a video, I didn't want to interrupt what they were doing. <laughs> So that was my original plan, and I think that is still the only plan I have. Another thing, and I think this is so cool. I had another schoolie come up to me, and I made a friend. <laughs> the best way to put it. This is a gentleman who has a 40 foot long schoolie bus that they're still currently building that they live inside of. I actually plan to do like a tour video with them coming in the next coming days. We're already in the talks about it. Uh, it's pretty awesome. And all I can say is the schoolie, the schoolie community is such a welcoming community. You awesome people already know that. But it's like when it personally happens, it's so cool. <laughs> Because out of nowhere, a 40-foot schoolie bus comes up and knocks on my door at 2 p.m. And I'm just waking up all groggy, super sweaty and hot. And they introduce themselves like, oh, well, this is an experience I'm not used to. So that was really cool. We, uh, he actually texted me today because where I'm staying, I hadn't moved from my spot in a couple days. I'm really conserving my gas. I don't got a lot left. And I don't know if I can get more anytime soon. So he called, he texted me up and saying, hey, you know, are you broken down? I hadn't seen you move for a couple days. And I told him, no, just broke. <laughs> Conserving gas, isn't that a text? <laughs> Ooh, a new biome. You really can't beat the sound of nature, I tell you. All right, this, this is really gorgeous. I like this a lot. I'm about to show you once I find a really good vantage, a good angle, I think right here will do. Well, friends, I think that is enough walking for today. Ooh, a little gnat attack, goodness. Sadly, there was something I was gonna say earlier. I really wanted to say it, but then there was music being played in the background and I could not uh, talk about the topic. So it completely slipped my mind. <laughs> it's gone, it's out of there. Home run. <laughs> the next time I go on a walk during the summer on any state, remind me to bring bug spray. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That had to have been a thousand gnats in like eight to ten different freaking clouds of gnats. And they're just constantly flying around your head. Ooh, I hadn't been a part of a gnat cloud in years. 
<laughs> like, no, I'm not trying to join your colony, dang it. Buzz, buzz, bzz. <laughs> oh, there's more. I don't know how well you can see. Oh, 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 oh. Now that I think about it, it's finally no longer pants season. The pants were super helpful, but now it is short season. Short shorts, woo! I mean, well, shorts, but woo! <laughs> That's awesome. That also means it's getting way too flippin' hot. Awesome, report over and out. Huh. Huh. I have seen so many people on bikes pass by me. And that made me think of two things. One, I would love a bike. It'd be so fun, so much fun. Two, remember back when you were younger and you would ride bikes as like a group of kids? Remember they had pegs on it and you could have somebody jump on the pegs and ride the bike behind you? Ah, that's what I want. Somebody to pedal me around. <laughs> I need a chauffeur. Now that'd be fun. Hard on the person chauffeuring me around, but still, that'd be fun. <laughs> Just the thought. <laughs> Finally made it to a resting area. That was a solid two hours. Whew. A little back and forth, getting set up, all that good jazz. I have wore myself out. I'm taking a quick break before you head back off to the bus. Hey, yo, yo! So I thought I did this yesterday, but apparently I uh, mistook video for photo, so I just took two photos instead of making the uh, Indian clip here. <laughs> All right, so I just finished editing the video today. I'm gonna add this right now as soon as it's done, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll leave a like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for being patient with me. Uh, all that good gidget with the jazz? Awesome. See you in the next video.